Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will discuss how to use Google Cloud Translate API in VB.NET application to translate text from one language to any other choice of language. Let's browse Google Cloud site to see the instruction to use this API. Translating text. Translating text basic. So this is the Google Cloud website. So here, uh, here is the declaration. This document describes how to use the cloud translation basic version 2 to translate text. The input text can be plain text or HTML. Cloud translation basic does not translate any HTML text in the input, only text that appears between the text. This is very important note that is before you can start using the cloud translation API you must have a project that has the cloud translation API enabled and you must have a private key with the appropriate credentials. If you are new in Google Cloud please visit my another video where I have discussed how you create a project, how you enable cloud translation API and how you create a private key. And you can also install client libraries for common programming languages to help you make calls to the API. So this is the link where you know how you use the client library for common programming languages. Scroll down this web page. Here it is. So client libraries are available for several popular languages. Google Cloud basically recommends that to use these client li libraries to make calls to cloud translation because they make it easier to access the APIs. So here the basic client libraries for different languages. The first step we can see the C sharp. So the client libraries of C sharp is Google Cloud Translation B2. So this library uh, we can also use for bb.net application. So let's browse this library in NuGet server. So here it is. So let's click the dependencies. So we can see the supported framework is 4.61. As that bb.net framework is the .NET framework, so we can use this library for VB.NET application. But fact is that uh, the .NET framework uh, lower than 4.6.1, this package will not work. So keep it remember the framework should be 4.61 or greater than. So let's create a VB.NET application. So I'm going to open Visual Studio to, to 2015. Let's click new project. So here we can see there's a template section. Within the templates, you can see that there are a number of languages. One is Visual C Sharp, the other one is Visual Basic, Visual C++. So for the purpose of this demo, I am I choose the visual basic and here the project template and as I created this very simple application and it is console application so click here and from the upper part we can see the dotted version framework version in is program 5.1 5.2 but it will not work with the that packages so I am upgrading the dotnet framework version and make it 4.7.2 and I'm changing the uh, solution name. I name it vb.net translate translation app. So here I also change the name of the project and let's click. 
so now the application is created so now I'm going to download the package using NuGet to be managed NuGet packages and here uh, from the browse option I'm going to search the Google Cloud translation V2 so let's click and click install click OK from output tab oh, we can see the package has been installed successfully so so now environment is ready to write code to translate text from one language to any other language so let's add, add some code this is the bb.net code this is the syntax of the uh, bb.net methods i start with sub main main method and it ends up this is the syntax of creating a method so let's create a variable then it translate client so this is the api of google cloud translation v2 package so in vb uh, in c sharp we are using using namespace using then name of the package name of the namespace but in the syntax of vp is to use the imports and this is the way of declaring a variable and there is no need to add a semicolon at the end of a statement If I navigate to translation client class, oh, we can see there are a couple of methods. One is create. Create is taking Google credential as a parameter, and the model is which is optional, and it returns translation client as an object. Another method is create async. This is the asynchronous method it also takes the google credential as parameter and it returns the task of translation client and the third method is create from api key uh, this method has a parameter named api key this is the private key and you need to collect it from your authorized google cloud account This method also returns the translation client. Another method detect language. It has one parameter which is text. This method basically detects the language of input text. For the purpose of this demonstration, I am using this method. So For storing API key in memory, I am creating a class. So I name it utility. So I'm putting here a constant. This is the way of creating constant in bb.net. And you need to replace this text by your uh, original Google Cloud API key. So let's move to main method and use here.
so I got the translation client then translate text let's go to the definition of translate text method here we can see the first parameter of this method is text this is the text we want to translate the second parameter is target language the language the text is going to be translated and the optional parameter source language this is optional if you not supply this parameter the api will automatically understand the language of the input text open a browser and go to the translate.google.com here I am going to write I am Bangladeshi so the Bangla meaning of I am Bangladeshi is Ami Bangladeshi so I, I copy it this is my input text I want to translate this text uh, into English so this way my target language is English there is a class of this package is language codes this uh, class basically contains all of the languages code so here English and then I'm going to supply the my source language it is Bangla if I navigate to this class language codes so we, we can see there are codes for all languages sorry we miss one thing that we did not see the return type of this method so uh, let's navigate again to this method and this is translation result the return type of the translate text method so let's move back to the module class so declare a response of translation result this is the way of declaring the variable in this is the way of declaring variable in pb.net so let's assign here and I'm going to print this response console Done right line here is the translated text we are all set let's run the application start without debugging Oh, now we can see I am Bangladeshi. The language has been translated successfully. Thank you.